Hi, Ken from Crafty Cad here. In this tooltip video, we're going to take a closer look at using the trim tool. Now, in a nutshell, the trim tool works by using one or more objects to cut off or trim any intersecting objects. Let's give it a go on these two lines here. So, let's activate the trim tool by clicking on the icon in the right hand toolbar or by going up to modify and clicking on trim. Now the first stage is to select a cutting object, so we'll use this vertical line. Now the cutting object acts like a knife and will slice through any intersecting objects. So with our cutting object selected, hit space to lock in that selection. And now we need to select the object that we want to trim off. So in this case we'll trim off the right hand side of this line. So when we click on it, you can see this line cuts that line in half and get, deletes the part we clicked on. You can also use the trim tool on complicated objects such as shapes and polylines. In this example we're going to activate the trim tool and now we're going to select both of these objects as cutting objects. When we do this we can actually use each object to cut both itself as well as any intersecting objects. So we'll select both of them, hit space to lock that in. When we click on the outside of this circle you'll see it trims as you would expect but when we click on an edge of this polygon you can see it actually uses itself as its cutting object and will trim between the two endpoints and it will also use the circle as a cutting object the same principles apply with uh, splines and polylines when we activate the trim tool and click on a polyline you can see it uses the whole polyline as our cutting edge one exception you'll come across quite frequently is blocks. Here we have a block, which is just a rectangle with a piece of text in it. If we draw a line across it, activate the trim tool, select the line as our cutting object, and then click on the block, you'll see we can't actually trim that. That's because to edit objects in a block, you have to actually open the block and edit it. And that is another topic entirely, and I'll be sure to cover that in another video. Well thanks for watching, I hope you found this useful, as always you can leave some comments down below or be sure to give a thumbs up if you found this helpful. Cheers!